Today, I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Draw to trace over an image you've already created and import it into Adobe Spark. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is start up a new picture, select your orientation. In this case, I want one that's upright. And instead of just going straight to drawing on here with your finger, you're going to go to the plus symbol here. Select image layer and grab it from your gallery. It's going to pop up with whatever you've selected last. And I'm going to grab this little pencil image of a flower. You can kind of stretch it out. You can only stretch it as big as the image, but you can move it around and the checkbox to select it. So if you've been following along with these, you might have played around with some of these brush tools. So you can click on one of the brushes, tap on it, and then put your finger on there and move up and down to select a brush size. And it kind of shows you a preview over there. If you're going to be creating a stamp, you probably want it a little bit thick. And give a little test here. Perfect. Hit the back button if you don't like what you did. Because this, I want this stem to be perfectly straight. So Adobe put these handy little rulers in here up in the shapes menu. That's, that's this thing up here, that little triangle with a circle. And I'm going to select the ruler tool here. I'm just going to kind of drag it over where my average spot is and trace along it and it's going to lock to it and really create a nice straight line and i can move over to my other side and trace over it and start to create my shape so there's also up here in these same things some french curves and stuff like that yeah, it's a little bit beyond me, so I'm just going to go ahead and hand trace over the rest of this, and I'm going to do that in uh, in hyperspeed mode. If you guys make a mistake, you can hit the back button up on the top, or you can switch over to the eraser here and erase little bits of stuff, or you can hold long hold on a uh, shape to get rid of it. And usually you can drag back and forth to um, to undo and redo, but for some reason, there it goes. <laughs> so you're just going to have to practice with that a little bit. I'm going to switch into hyperspeed and trace over this flower. All right, there we go. We got the uh, flower traced. Uh, this little stacked box image up at the top there is your layers. And if you double tap on the image, it's gonna just show you what you got left. So I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm gonna export that just like we did in the last one. Click the little arrow up at the top and copy image to gallery. And you want it with a transparent background. There we go. Now let's go ahead and jump over to Adobe Spark. And I'm going to create a new project here. Select solid color, white background, hit next. And you now for this one, I think I might do more of a, a elongated image done and I'm not going to worry about the text right away I'm just going to kind of drag that up here and say add image gallery and there's my picture and click add there and now I can drag that around it's over the the top of the text uh, you can pin it to the background if you want it behind it. I kind of put that in the middle. And I'll change this uh, text here 
to the flower designs. There we go. I'm going to make the color black and the font something different. There we go. And now I'm going to click Done and Add and add an icon. I like to just type in oval. And hunt for something that looks like it fits good. There we go. That looks perfect. And I'm going to drag that outward using those little bubbles on the side. And change the color to black. There we go. So now we've got a totally custom uh, maker's mark. Uh, of course, a simple one, but you can go all the way from a napkin sketch to your design right here on your smartphone. Uh, hopefully this was useful for you guys. I'm going to make another one that's going to show you a, a way to change a, an image automatically, although not as clean as hand drawing. But uh, if this was a, this is a video you enjoyed, go ahead and click that like button. Uh, subscribe so you can get notified when I post the next one. And if you've got any questions, uh, leave them in the comments section here on the video. And as always, stay creative.